Well, I think the most important thing for people to understand about index funds is that they're different from ETFs because they, again, they kind of get used uh, in the same way. An index fund is usually trying to replicate some index. Now this is just man-made. There certainly can be well thought out. There's a methodology to creating many of them. It doesn't make them infallible or perfect or the best. Um, but the S&P 500 is an index, the Dow Jones, the Russell 2000. Um, so they can represent large caps, uh, large cap stocks, mid cap stocks and, and small cap stocks, international, whatever. And so an index fund or an index ETF is just trying to replicate a certain index. What happens is they'll use similar names for some of these things, but ETFs can have an entire different array of methodologies. Uh, so it might say S&P 500, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's just gonna track the S&P 500 for better or for worse. And so, you know, I guess when I'm thinking about indices, the two big points in index funds, I would say two things is, one, understanding, hey, they're man-made. Um, there's nothing necessarily special about them. Uh, number two, to the extent that someone's trying to get into an index fund or ETF, be very careful about what you're buying and you know, understanding how there could be underlying leverage or a different methodology, completely different from the index that you're actually hoping to track.